and they're off. Racing away, the £80,000 Group 3, Bet365, Earl of Sefton Stakes, over to nine furlongs. Chichester a little bit slow to pop away from the stalls. McGallan is the first one to show. Black and white silks the wreck out there for Frankie. Shows out in front by length to Bell Rock over on the far side, the pink and green with the noseband. Handiest catch 22, the grey and blue silks. The exit South African horse on UK debut today. Close behind is Master of the Seas, last season's Craven winner and runner-up in the 2000 guineas. A length then back to Father of Jazz in that yellow jacket, the white cap. Followed by Brunch in the dark blue and green with the noseband under Connor Beasley. At the back of the field is Chichester under Callum Rodriguez in the pink and black. They continue their journey up the home straight and about to race towards the final five furlongs shortly. McGallan's out in front, leads narrowly, just about a length over Bell Rock in second place. Close up behind, catch 22 to the right-hand side. Tucked in amongst rivals is Master of the Seas. To the left-hand side is Father of Jazz, then Brunch and Chichester. Quite a tightly packed field then as they race now towards the final three and a half. McGallan controlling the gallop leads it by about a neck only to Bell Rock. Right in behind, catch 22 now pushed along. Master of the Seas still just waiting there. William Buke for the gap through. Will it come now? They're racing their way towards the final quarter mile. McGallan still just in front. Now the gap coming for Master of the Seas who travels well on the bridle. Bell Rock ridden for more. Then Brunch and catch 22 from Father of Jazz and Chichester. Into the dip just outside the final furl and McGallan's got the lead now William Buick pushing here on Master of the Seas to get on terms and now he's come through to pick it up it's Master of the Seas he's now in front from McGallan he's fighting on but he's gonna have to give second best to Master of the Seas who wins the Earl of Sefton beating McGallan brunch in third then Bellrock father of jazz Chichester and catch 22 well, things have gone well since we last spoke to Charlie Appleby. New Science and Master of the Seas have both won. Let's do them in reverse order. You must be delighted with that. Um, everything that you've been working towards in the early part of the season with Master of the Seas coming to fruition with a Group 3 win. No, for sure. Um, he's been a frustrating horse, to say the least. Uh, not, uh, not all of it is his own fault at the end of the day, but um, he has challenged himself on more than one occasion. And... Uh, you know, obviously, we, as we spoke earlier, we, we gelded him. We, we felt it was the right thing to, to bring the best out in the horse, and, and, and the, on the evidence of today, we've, we've done the right thing. And you were saying also that he'd been working better without the hood. Did William think that that translated in the race again? Yeah, I mean, it, it was always one of those going down. You know, once we took the hood off, we weren't sure what character we were going to have. And I said to William, if, if he's taking you on, just let him face the breeze and just see where he pricks his ears. And uh, you know, there was a sensible gallop on, and William got him into a lovely rhythm. I was very happy in two ways watching him run and, and hopefully him gaining confidence that he can switch off in amongst them and and do what he's in you know, show his acceleration which he's shown today you got a lovely bit of cover and then once he got his way out of that pocket william just waited and the way he attacked them must have given you a lot of pleasure no for sure and more importantly i hope for the horse it's done him the power of good as well you know like any sportsman you've got to have confidence and that will fill him with plenty of confidence now going where we go next, Lydia, I don't know. It would be brutal, honestly. I, what we will be doing is working back from uh, from a Queen Anne um, right. with him. William's very happy to drop, yeah, so come back to the mile, and the stiff mile there will suit him. Um, you know, and, and, and quick ground suits him. So hopefully, we'll have a nice hot summer. And um, he's a horse that I feel he's never going to look at a place in a race like that. But this year, we get. If we get him where we need him to be, he's going to be a competitive horse. I was expecting you to say Lockinge, I must be honest. So is that a possible or is it just that you're focusing so much on the Queen Anne? If it fits in, fine. If it doesn't, it's the Queen Anne primarily. Um, a lot of people have come up to me saying the Lockinge, but, you know, I've, I think William's horse has got, you know, the, I mean, he's the horse everyone's got to beat. And, and like I say, I'm very much working back from a Queen Anne right. and I want this horse to go into the Queen Anne okay. with a lot of confidence and... Uh, win, lose or draw, he's going to have a hard race in the lock-in, so uh, it's taken us this long to get to where we are, I don't want to undo it all um, before what was going to be our main target. OK, I understand. Sam Turner and I were having this debate about the confidence thing, So, and I was thinking that with certain horses it probably does ring true, so with this horse in particular, do you think it was important for him to just have the race run right, to win, what was it that he needed today? Yeah, the right, for him to go out there and, and, the, and you know, the race was run correctly for him to be able to get into a lovely rhythm, as we mentioned there, and, and do it all the right way around. So, need to say, one would be very hopeful that he's gained a lot of confidence from that today. And 
I'm a big believer in any sportsman, anyone wants to be successful, if you're not confident, okay. <laughs> you're always going to be on the back foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's always so hard to say, when talking about horses, it's much, much harder to tell, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, you, you see these horses day in, day out, you can get much more inside their head than, than we can. How about New Science? What, what did you make of his European handicap win? Yeah, no, delighted. Um, he's a horse that, uh, bringing the best of his two-year-old form today, he was always, I felt, a horse they got to beat anyway. Um, he... Uh, He's been a bit of a challenge for the team uh, last year. It's very, I mentioned to a few people there, it? very shallow feet, and, and so his, it was a forever tackling a foot problem with him last year and kept missing a couple of engagements, and therefore we took him to Dubai and he wintered away there. And the plan was to give him a run in Dubai, which we did so, and as an unfortunate, yeah, Hankford is similar to Master of the Seas you know, 12 months ago. He, he sort of blew out in Dubai as well and then came here and won the Craven, and uh, you know, he's gone and done the same. So they, you know, they got off the plane fit, He's enjoyed himself since he's been here, and, and um, yeah, again, it was a good performance under his penalty. And what are you thinking about for him? Uh, William felt that the, the stiff mile would probably be taking him, taking him right to the end of his sort of petrol gauge. Um, personally, I think if you wanted to pigeonhole a race, I think the jersey's tailor-made for him. And whether we decide to take in a French Guineas en route, you know, the, the easy mile round there at Longchamp, running downhill there for a bit, might just help him, uh, you know, with this in respect to I say stamina but you know taking yes. him to that mile yes. uh, might just make it a bit easier for him so that's a race we could take potentially look at but I'd be if you, are, if you want to say me Charlie what race would you really think he could go and win I think he'd be very very competitive in a jersey you mentioned his that he'd got shallow feet is that something that a horse grows out of you, you try to and they don't really grow out of it. it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a condition of their feet and and, 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 and but what you want to try and do is uh, you know, try and get that soul growth there. It's like having a pair of worn-out trainers, really. Um, so you want uh, you want the new ones. And uh, you know, taking them to Dubai is a big believer. It, it helps them out there. We train all of our horses barefoot out there, and uh, you know, helps the, a bit like ourselves. A bit of bit of sun and uh, yeah. warmth. Everything grows a bit better. And um, you know, his feet done have done well for the winter, and hopefully that will help him throughout his uh, three-year-old career now. And does he need special shoes as a result of that condition? No, not now. No, no, no frankly, okay. no. We're all back into our normal standard racing plates, and uh, yeah, no, he's going about his work comfortably okay. and well. Final question is about Independent Act. He wins in our last race, the Ten Furlong Handicap. What are you expecting from him? Yeah, he he's sort of don't, he is what he is. Um, I, I'm keen to see him on the turf. To be fair. Um, you know, like a few of our horses are due to run over the next couple of weeks, they've, they've sort of built up a little bit of a profile during the course of the winter on the, on the synthetics, and um, they, they, but they've all got pedigrees that should hopefully you know, benefit and, and, and go forward hitting the turf. So uh, he, he's very much sort of one of those horses. Homework's been good. He's obviously had those couple of runs. He's fit and, um, and he stays. So he, he just needs to relax. He was a bit keen there on his last start, but um, he's been good at home, and so hopefully he can try... You know, bring that to the table today. Okay, well, very best of luck. It's a great start to Newmarket. Well done, Charlie. Brilliant. Thanks, Lydia. Thank you. Cheers.